Hello friends, Hattie from Honeybee Stampers here. Welcome to Happy Hour with Honeybee Stampers. I'm hopping on later in the day than I had wanted to, but um, I've been home this week with a sick kiddo. My little guy has got a virus, and so I'm home with him, and um, hopefully he will. He does seem like he's getting better, so hopefully that'll be continue to be the case. So I'm hopping on a little bit later, but maybe some of you will be able to catch me because um, you'll be out of work and have some free time. So tonight's project that we're going to make features a celebration product called Beautifully Happy. This is the stamp set here. But before we jump into this actual project, I hope you guys don't mind me sharing some Stampin' Up! updates with you. So I find that this is a great opportunity for me to share things that are going on, give you sneak peeks, talk to you about things that are going on also with Honeybee Stampers. So I know there's always lots going on and this will be a great way for me to share. So before we jump into this project, let me talk a little bit about a couple things. So first of all, let me show you guys the, the new paper pumpkin. So this is the new paper pumpkin kit. If you are a paper pumpkin subscriber, then you probably have already gotten your kit. Um, comes with this really pretty tissue paper and you're gonna get a little fresh freesia ink spot. There's a brochure here that kind of tells you about the next paper pumpkin, and you can subscribe for this next paper pumpkin by the 10th of February. So kind of keep that in mind. And then it also shows you that for this paper pumpkin, they have an add-on option called heart boxes. So, um, and they're really cute, and I should have grabbed them. I don't have them in front of me right now, but I've shown them on a video in the past. But here's the new paper pumpkin kit. Here's the, the brochure, and then here are the cards. I've actually created some of them. So you're gonna get three each of three different designs. So I just wanted to show you a little sneak peek about this and tell you about some um, Paper Pumpkin news that just came out today. So there's that. I have some in the back here because I'll be doing a video uh, putting those projects together and then also designing a an alternate sample with the stamp set. Let me see if I showed you the stamp set in there. Um, I didn't, and I don't have the stamp set with me. I think it's over in my other workstation. But there's a really cute stamp set that goes with this. So there's that. If you guys are Paper Pumpkin subscribers, you probably got this already. If you're not, that was the kit. Now, some news that just came out was that they have refills of this kit. When this kit was live, this was the, I think, the October kit. And it was so popular, it sold out. And they have refills of them now. So use all the noise. So this is the Ho 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 kit. Um, and it's really cute, these projects here. And so uh, some people missed out on this. I am going to be ordering some more. So if you want a kit that has the stamp set and has the ink spot, make sure you reach out to me and let me know because I am going to order a couple extras. So there's that. Okay. The next thing I wanted to um, share with you is a little bit more about Stamp Camp. So Stamp Camp is a virtual event that I do with a Canadian demonstrator friend of mine named Brenda Nelson. She is actually on the artisan design team with Stampin' Up, which is really cool. She has amazing projects to share and a lot of inspiration because she's having to design all the time. And we are doing a, a Stamp Camp together. We do them, we've been doing them for the last few years now, where we're featuring, oops, not that yet, we're featuring the Sentimental Park stamp set. And then also um, we'll be using the dies here and you will get a goodie bag. We're doing something a little different this time. Usually with the goodie bag, you get the stamp set, but this time we're gonna give you more product, more consumable product. And then you can add on the stamp set or maybe you already have the stamp set or maybe you don't want it, whatever the case is. So this is what we're featuring and this is what you're gonna get as part of your goodie bag. You're gonna get um, the half a pack of this corrugated shimmery paper, which is really pretty. You're gonna get a full pack of the six by six designer series paper. You're gonna get a full pack of the adhesive backed milky dots. So that's that there. And then you're going to get a full bolt of this Knight of Navy ribbon, which is stunning. I love it. Um, let me show you what the paper, what this designer series paper looks like. And I have to go and update my registration form because I think it just said that you're gonna get five projects and that's not it at all. So you're gonna get projects from me and you're gonna get projects that Brenda designs in your kit. I'm gonna flip through these as I'm talking about it. 
And then if you have been with us at the last stamp camp and you register for the next stamp camp, you get something we call super stamper status. And what that means is that you will, um, you will be able to get additional projects for free from Brenda and I. So she designs two extra cards and I designed two extra cards. So there's that. Um, and then we have add-on classes. So that was just kind of a brief introduction to Stamp Camp. I will let you know that registration ends at the end of this month. So I, on the 30th or 31st, of the 31st of this month, um, registration ends. So this is really one of the bigger events that I do and that I um, send out really nice big kits through the mail. And it's really fun. If you've done a Stamp Camp with me before, definitely kind of, maybe leave a little review about what you think of our stamp camps in the comments. And I'd love to share that with other people who are interested. Okay, so there's that. Now, let me um, let me talk a little bit more about this stamp set. The Beautifully Happy stamp set is a free item with a $100 purchase. So in the celebration catalog that looks like this, if you flip back to page 13, you're gonna see the stamp set here. And then you're going to see some projects that they've created, which is fun. Oh, thank you, Kathy, for that. I appreciate that. Um, and then I have some extra samples that I'm going to show you, and then I'll get to creating. And then I've got more stuff to show and share. So let me show you some samples that were made featuring the stamp set um, for our team swaps. So each month we have team swaps that happen in our group called the Beehive. And if you are a part of that group, then you can get the swaps for just $15 and all the pieces are cut and prepped for you. And here are the projects here that you can see. I think they all fit in the screen. Um, let me move this so I can see. Hang tight for just a second. Yep, okay, great. So um, these were the projects for, I think they were a couple months ago. I, I think they were a couple, or maybe they were last month. Anyways, you get the written tutorial, step-by-step -step tutorial on how to put them together. And our swap coordinator, Jennifer, um, she actually cuts and preps everything for you and puts it in the mail. And it's only $15, and that's a perk for being on our team. So these featured the Beautifully Happy and then some of the new host, I'm sorry, some of the new celebration paper as well. So that's a fun way to get to stamp and get creative. So I have a couple more projects. Oh, well, let me show you this one. This is a card that was designed using the Beautifully Happy. And it's actually the card that we're going to be making at Sweet and Simple Card Class this weekend. So if you're registered to attend either in person or if you get this kit to go, this is one of the cards that you will be creating. And let me show you um, some of the other ones. So here's another card that you'll make. Here's more of a masculine card that you'll make. We'll be using the Stamparatus on this one and a little heat embossing. Um, this is one I showed recently on my Facebook page. And this features that this was actually last week's um, happy hour with Honeybee Stampers. I featured the fragrant flowers bundle and the um, favored flowers designer series paper, which is amazing. And so this is just the stamp set that I'm featuring here for this weekend. And then we've got this cute little owl fun fold card that we're gonna be creating. Uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're making six cards. My sixth card is, let me see. Okay, it's actually over by the window. It's over by the window because I was photographing it and it's a Valentine card. So um, if you're coming this weekend, then, or you get the kit to go, you're gonna get all the pieces to create this. Now, as far as the kits to go, People always kind of wonder about that because they do feature different stamp sets. Um, a lot of times I will create them so that you can use either stamps you already have. Well, we'll use this for an example. If you get the kit to go, you're going to get all of these little pieces here to include this DSP and this DSP. And you just don't get this, this sentiment, right? And so if you already have a sentiment that would fit right there, you would have a really pretty card that you could use. Um, 
for this one, you're gonna get that designer series paper and you're gonna get these two pieces. I can't stamp and send anything th through the mail, so you would have to stamp something else here. But doesn't this kind of look like a baby card? So if you had little baby stamp, you could put a stamp right there. So I'm doing a lot of the work for you. Um, and if you have the project or the product that I've used, great, then you can mimic what I've done. So same here, you're gonna get all these pieces but maybe you don't have this flower. Well, not yet. Maybe I'll convince you after tonight. Um, you don't have this stamp set, then you can use something you already have. So that's how Sweet and Simple works. If you come here in person to my studio, then you are gonna have an opportunity to use all the product that I have to create them exactly as is. And like I said, the sixth card is a Valentine. Let me, I always forget to check comments. So let me go and see here. Well, hi, Hannah. Hi, Kathy. Well, hi, Gwen. Gwen, I um, see that you're a new follower, so thank you so much. And I saw a little message that you left for me on YouTube. I appreciate that so much. So thank you for being here. And you're like my neighbor out in North Carolina. Okay, so um, let's get back to the stamp set. That's why I never <laughs> I never um, talk and stamp because I, or read messages. I always get sidetracked. Okay, so this other project that I've created, I want to show you this cute card. So this cute fun fold card right here was created using this stamp set as well. As you can see, I used a lot of this on those other projects, right? Well, I really loved this um, no line look. And when I'm thinking about what inspires me, because I get asked that sometimes, like how do you come up with your projects? So I will tell you that this right here this, um, this is a computer bag. My husband bought this for me for Christmas several years ago. It's a Marimekko bag. And so this is a very classic design for them. It's They're from Finland. It's a Finnish brand. And you can actually get it at um, Crate and Barrel and a lot of other places. I did get a chance to visit their actual home store in Helsinki, which was really cool. But I have this little bag in my studio and I looked at it. And then it made me think of this for some reason. And so I used these colors. I just pulled the colors from here to create this project. And then I have the Knight of Navy here and I picked real red. I consider that to be kind of a Calypso coral and um, a polished pink. So that's how I made this card. And you are gonna see um, this little detail right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's the Stitched with Whimsy. I went nuts with this this die. And so we're going to be using that in our projects today. So for a feel better kind of day, sending happy thoughts. I just think that that was such a fun and cute card. And this was my inspiration just so you have an idea. That's <laughs> where I got that from. Okay. Thank you, Gwen. So sweet. Well, hi, Brenda. Good to see you on here. Alrighty. So for our card tonight, I was inspired by making some in color cards. So um, you may or may not know that Stampin' Up! has in colors that come out every year and they last for two years. So this is a set of in color cards that had come out. Um, That's not our most recent one, so just to let you know that. Um, but we they're still available in the catalog. So I created this. It's just a fun, another fun fold card here that opens up like that. And I wanted to um, just make a simple layout that I could use over and over again and feature every one of these colors here. Now, when I hopped on and looked at the uh, the inventory status report to see what's sold out and what's back ordered, well, not back ordered, but just not available, I real I found out that this particular in color set was not available. Um, the paper. You can get the designer series paper, but the actual cardstock is back ordered until February. So for tonight, I'm actually going to create with the other set of in colors to just kind of show you something different. So here are the cards. So we've got, um, let me see if I can remember the colors, polished pink, evening evergreen, fresh freesia. Mm, hold on, drawing a blank. And, um, soft succulent. So I love these colors. And for this evening evergreen one, I actually used the soft succulent here to make that and then evening evergreen for the leaves. Um, the rest of them are soft succulent leaves. And then for this soft succulent one, I actually did bring in another color. That is it, That is flirty flamingo for that flower. The rest of them match the cardstock um, colors. 
So there's that. Okay, let's make this project here. Okay, um, so like I said, if you're wondering what in the world I'm talking about with regards to the in colors, let me show you that in the catalog real quick. So if you look in this catalog here, you are gonna see that we have some new in colors on page 122. So we've got the set that came out in 2021 and that lasts until this year. So these will be retiring. And then the, these were the new colors that came out last year. And then we'll get another set of five colors in the new annual catalog. Well, these were the colors that I used to create these cards here. Um, but I am going to hop over onto this side and I'm going to grab the Parakeet Party. Oh, I should have done Sweet Sorbet. That would have been cute. But I think I grabbed um, Orchid Oasis. So I'm going to use these two colors here. So you literally could do these same exact cards, but use Parakeet Party for the, the leaves and then each one of these colors. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. I did do that already. Okay. So here is our card base. And if you are an email subscriber of mine, I'm going to be sending out a last call email for some events that are coming up. And so you will get the measurements for this card in that last call email. All right, let's, um, let's start by assembling some of it and then we're going to stamp. So this right here is that Stitched with Whimsy die that I had mentioned earlier, you guys. Somebody's going to have to come and pry this out of my hands because I can't stop using it. It looks like this. It's so cool, and I hope Stampin' Up! makes more of these, but it doesn't die. It just die cuts these little tiny dots with that great detail. So there's that. Make sure you make note of Stitched. Oh, it's not Stitched with Whimsy. I'm sorry. It's called Stitch Greenery. I keep saying Stitched with Whimsy. Stitch greenery. So we're going to add this piece here. So I just took the other half of this card front and I did trim it down a little bit and I ran it through that die to create just a little bit more detail there. Okay. And then this is the designer series paper. So we have designer series paper that comes out in every single in color and actually in every color that we have. So that's fun. So this is the matching orchid oasis and they have four different prints. So they've got like this plaid print and they've got lines and dots and I think a floral print is the other one. So there's that. Okay, and then we needed an extra piece for the mat. And let's bring this in here. Whenever you're stamping with a photopolymer stamp set, you definitely always want to use um, a mat underneath it. So we do sell foam mats that you can use. So we'll take this and I need to grab some black ink, which I see I don't have. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna take our Momento black ink and just ink it up. Make sure you got good coverage on this big stamp. I'm gonna angle it to the side just a smudge, that stem right there, and stamp down. There we go. All right, now this is two-step stamping, which makes it so easy. We're going to grab the leaves here, and like I said, I'm going to switch it up and use a different ink color. We're going to use Parakeet Party, so this is the some of the new ink colors. And then all you do, let me make sure I'm still in the camera, yep, all you do is kind of hover over until it lines up. You can see right through it, which is great, and you stamp down. So it gives you that image. And then we've got another stamp that I'll use for the top here. Takes me a minute to line it up, especially when I'm on film. Okay, I think that's good. There we go. And then we're gonna grab this Orchid Oasis, which I really wish I would have done the Sweet Sorbet because I think that would have been a really fun, bright pop of color. 
I'll grab this stamp. And then you're going to line this one up. I hope. There we go. Just like that. I actually probably should have stamped off. If I stamped off, that would that would look better. Let's actually see. Hang tight. And then it wouldn't be so dark. Let's get this in here. I'll go a little bit faster. And then you guys can tell me which one you like better. So let's stamp this one in Memento Black again. Okay. Let's do this flower first. Stamp off on the paper there. And then line that up. Okay. We'll get our green ones in. The Parakeet Party. One more here. There. Okay, I think I like that better. You guys will have to tell me which one you like better. Do you like the really dark, bold one or do you like it stamped off? So it's gonna look like this or like this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the lighter one. So if you stamp off with the um, Orchid Oasis, to me, it looks better. So let's, um, let's add this to you. Oopsie. Sometimes the adhesive is so strong, it'll rip your paper. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Hello. I put lotion on like right before I started this video, so my hands are just as slippery as can be. Okay, so now we're going to take some dimensionals, and I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back here. I like to put them on the top like that, and then to make sure I don't put them too far, I'm just gonna put it right on the bottom. Then I'm gonna take this and center it on my card, like that, and push down. Okay, that card is coming together. That's coming together. Let's see if you guys have any questions. Okay, Jacqueline, <laughs> hi. Good to see you on here. Um, some people like it bold, some people like it stamped off, so that's cool. So you can definitely do one of each if you wanted to. Now I did take our stylish shapes and I die cut a little circle. I am really into this stamping on, or heat embossing on the darker cardstock and heat embossing white. I really liked how You Are Easy to Love fit on this. So because my hands are so <laughs> lotioned up, I think I better add a little bit of this embossing buddy. So the embossing buddy just helps keep the static off. And then I'm going to use our Versamark ink and stamp that on there. There we go. And then we're gonna shimmy and shake that in our white embossing powder. All right, there we go. So then what I would do is I would heat emboss that and I've already done it off camera so that I'm good to go. And this is what it would look like. Now what I wanna do is add some of this really pretty gingham ribbon. And so how I would do that is I would add some adhesive to the back. Let me make this edge a little bit nicer. There we go. And I would stick some on the back. I'd loop it and stick it on like that. And then I'd loop it back the other way. Okay, and then once I've done that, I can make the other end pretty. There we go. You've got that little detail, so it's gonna look like that on the back. And then we're going to grab some dimensionals here. This will help secure the ribbon. These are our black Stampin' Dimensionals. I don't use them that often. I feel like they're actually a little bit stickier than the white ones. So um, they are great to use as well. 
All right, and then we're just gonna put it in this little empty space down here. There we go. And then we wanna finish this off with some embellishments. So we've got some matching coordinating matte dots that coordinate really well um, with the in colors. And they're, they're a little bit of an ombre, so they're kind of darker and then they get lighter, but we'll just stick one in the middle right there. Okay, you could even put a black one right there. I think that would look great. So I hope you guys like that project. It is a super simple project. I will leave a link to join my newsletter. So if you're not on my newsletter, um, definitely join it because you will get the measurements for this card and you'll get um, some updates from me and I do have some more things to share. So hang tight for a second. Uh, let me bring in the other ones. So these were the other in colors. These are the older set of in colors here. Let me see what this was called. Pale Papaya. I couldn't remember that for a second. And then this one, and this one, and that one. And you'll see that I really like the You Are Easy to Love, but I did take this one. Um, you'll see that this Thank You stamp is just kind of like in a line. What I did was I just covered up the U, and I inked up just the Thank and then I um, cleaned it off and I covered up the thank and just inked up the U. And that's how I got it to stack one on top of each other. So I didn't cut my stamp there. Kindness matters, that's a great sentiment. Some more you are easy to love. So the sentiments in here are fantastic. We've got um, for a feel better kind of day, which you guys saw that card I made, sending happy thoughts. You guys, I can't believe I'm honeybee stampers and I don't think I have any cards stamped with this cute little bee. I'm gonna have to definitely do something about that. Um, you've got thank you, you are easy to love, kindness matters, and for a very happy birthday. So that's the sentiment we're using for this weekend's Sweet and Simple Card class. And there's those cards. I will um, bring in these this card again if you missed it in the beginning. This was just a fun card that I created and is, was inspired by a computer bag that I had. And then, oh, let me talk to you guys really quick about another event that's happening this weekend registration is going to close so i hope you guys get a chance to try it out um, we're going to be doing it in person as well as online so it's with the kits collection it's called kits and cards and we're going to make this kit for this month and it, this cute stamp set that comes with it you guys the stamp set is i don't know if you can see it well it's so cute. Um, there's some awesome sentiments in here, sentiments in here, and especially if you're looking for a card to kind of brighten someone's day, you know, if they're under the weather or they're just not feeling well. So this one says, a little birdie told me you were under the weather. How cute is that card? Um, there's that. This one says, even though this stinks, I'm here for you with a cute little skunk. And then this one's my favorite. Ice cream is the best remedy for this. So you're gonna make nine of these cards. And hopefully you'll be able to join me in person because we'll be playing a really fun game for free Stampin' Up! products. So think like bingo, but actually it's a card game. And it's super fun. You guys will get it. Um, and then I cut these out so that I could create these for the Circes for those who are attending. Everybody's going to get a little gift from me. But you'll leave with this kit with the ink spot, the stamp set, and then these nine cards. And then also that chance to win some some Stampin' Up! product. So this registration is gonna be ending really soon. We're doing it in person this Saturday at 4 p.m. at the studio, and then we're also doing it online. So even if you're long distance from me, join me online. You'll get, I'll send you this kit in the mail, and then you'll hop on, I'll give you a Zoom link, and we'll do, um, we'll play a game, and for also for Stampin' Up! prizes, and then we'll be putting that kit together, and it'll be a really fun social time. So links for all that will be available. Let me, um, See if there's anything else I wanted to share. I don't think so. Well, here's the host code. So if you guys are ordering, here is the host code for this month. Um, make sure you, if you order something under $150, that you use this host code. If you order something $150 or more, you become a host yourself. You get host rewards and you'll get the free gifts. So um, don't use the host code for that so you can get the free goodies. So let's bring all the cards back in so you guys can see that. So here are those cards. That's the new one, I actually really like that. This one, and then here's some of the other ones. Um, I've got my computer and my camera set up a little bit differently today. You guys will have to tell me if you like this lighting better, um, and we'll, we'll probably go from there. I'm always working to improve it. Now, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, okay, well, I really love this stamp set, but I don't know what I should get for $100. 
Um, let me give you some suggestions. So if you were to want to recreate this, right? Some really simple cards that you can put together. I would recommend getting a pack. I would recommend getting a assortment pack of the in colors. And so it's 20 sheets. That means you would be able to make um, at least 10 cards because you're going to need the other half. I would say you'd be, I'd say you'd actually, you'd be able to make, if you have 20 sheets, you'd be able to make at least 20 cards because you are going to need the other half for some of the layers. So, um, so there's that. And then I would also get, and that's only $9.50. I would also choose the Coordinating Designer Series paper. That's $12. I would also, you guys have got to put this on your list. Um, let's see here. The Stitch Greenery. That is that die that I use that I absolutely love. And I would put that one. It's $32. Um, Stylish Shapes is a, is a must. I use that all the time. And then on this page, you'll see that we've got the in colors that coordinate, which are here those embellishments, and I used them on all of these cards. And then you've got the in-color gems or embellishments that I used on the card today that are here. Those are the ones that are kind of an ombre. So there's that. Okay, and if you add all that together, you're gonna get pretty darn close to 100. Um, and then you could probably throw in some dimensionals and you'll be good to go. So consider that if you're wanting to get this stamp set but you um, aren't sure exactly what to get. And also let me know. I'd be happy to help you. The other thing I wanted to share, actually, I don't know if I have it. <laughs> I think I just flagged these. Yeah, I just flagged these to, and I shared it with you guys earlier. Well, I didn't talk about this. This is going to be part of the new paper pumpkin kit. Um, I'll be focusing on that in, in another video. That's an add-on class for Stamp Camp. I wanna make sure I got everything covered. That's an add-on class for Stamp Camp. Don't miss out on Stamp Camp, you guys. It is super amazing. Brenda and I put like everything we've got <laughs> into this Stamp Camp um, to share with you guys, and I think you guys will love it. So, and then here's Regency Park for the Stamp Camp. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that happy hour with Honeybee Stampers. Let me see if there's any questions. Thank you, Jacqueline. You're loving the gingham. I do too. I could use that gingham ribbon on just about anything. Let me see if I can see all the comments. Hmm. It only lets me see a few. Um, thank you, Kathy, for watching. I can see more on my phone. Okay, I think we've got a lot of great comments about which color, if I should do um, the dark or stamp off. So thanks for that. Okay, I think that's it, you guys. Oops. There. All right, well, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I will see you next week on Wednesday. Um, stay tuned for the time again. Something that really stopped me from going live every week was was pinpointing a time to do it. So being flexible and letting me kind of give you a heads up when I go live has been so helpful. And yes, so hopefully my little guy is feeling much better and that we'll be good to go for next week. He'll be back in um, school and I can do a, a live with you guys. So have a great night and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.